This is Dos Kunwa, Product Manager of Click Effects. In this video, we want to highlight the Workflow Actions feature that has recently been added to Click Effects. It's a really neat way to control graphics and make sure elements can be on air or off air, or keyframed actions can be triggered. Um, first, I'm opening up the Workflow Action window here. Uh, this is where you'll see the actions defined that are in the system. And in this video, we're going to trigger uh, both at keyframe actions inside this starter player graphic and we're going to control the graphic and make sure it can be on and off air. Uh, so when we load this graphic in the graphics editor uh, and we open up the scene action control window we can see that in Prime Designer we've built a few keyframe actions that affect the graphic. For instance we have um, a zoom and we have a zoom out um, and in this example we're going to use a workflow action to play the zoom in and we're going to use a workflow action to play a zoom out. So not only can workflow actions be used to control graphics and make sure they're on and off air or control other elements like video clips or audio clips or any other media button in the system, uh, but we can also use workflow actions to control the CG keyframeable actions that were designed in Prime Designer. So again, this is our graphic. Um, and when we play it on the output, which is first it would go in preview and then in program, when we put it in preview, you see a nice preview action there of, of what it will do when it comes in. We put it on program, now it's on our output right, um, showing on the right hand side here. And when it removes from air, uh, it sits there for just a little bit and then it removes itself from program. So now we want to create some workflow actions that do the exact same thing. Um, that we just did manually. We create a new one and we call it add scene. That's our action workflow action that will take care of adding the scene to program. We drag the media button into the items list. That's the media button that needs to be affected. We change the type to media button and we select program. That graphic needs to go to program. Uh, so that's the media, act media button action that will take place. We then create another uh, workflow action and we call this one remove scene because we want this scene to be removed. Again, we nominate that button and we change the type to uh, remove and we hit OK. Next, we want to test these workflow actions to make sure that they do what they're supposed to do. So we right click on one of them and we say test. And as you can see, that brings it to air. And then we right click on the remove scene and we hit test and it performs uh, perfectly the intended uh, action. So now we have control over the scene uh, for bringing it to preview and program or any number of scenes that I would like to be affected by this. So now I've tested the adding of a scene to the output and then removing it from the output. What we wanna do now is we wanna create some workflow actions that are going to trigger the keyframe actions that are built into the scene that were designed in Prime. And it, now from the type selection, I leave that to Prime Scene Action. I say play, because we want to hit uh, play on a scene action that was designed in Prime. And I type in the name of the scene action. I do the same, so I've already done it now for the zoom in. I'm gonna do the same for the zoom out. Again, what I wanna do is nominate that button by dragging it into this list prime scene action play, and I type in the name of the scene action as it was designed in Prime Designer. So that's the same name as the keyframe action that was um, created in Prime Designer. So now I have four workflows. I still have my two. I can still right click on the scene, the add scene to add it to program, and there it triggers it nicely, puts it in program. I can now hit middle player zoom, right click and test, and it zooms in, it calls that prime scene action and plays it. I can hit zoom out, right click, test zoom out, and there it zoomed out nicely with that prime scene action, and I can remove the scene from air. So a lot of flexibility here between media button control, keyframe control. What I've done next is I've created remotes because I can use these workflows inside the, re the remote paradigm as well. So I've created the remotes, and then what I wanna do next is go into the click effects network, find the remotes, and then make the workflow assignments to the remotes. So there's a new workflow button here. I can select the assignment and say, okay, my add scene, 
workflow needs to be part of the ad scene remote. And that's just a single assignment, but I could make it, be making all kinds of other assignments as well as you usually would with remotes. I could trigger other clips or call uh, requests on other devices uh, as part of the remote paradigm. So now I have this set up and I can trigger everything from, a, from an easy to use uh, remote button on the user interface. So the ease of use here is key and now through a very powerful and quick and easy to use interface we have control over graphics, we can remove graphics, add graphics, we can call very complex uh, keyframe actions um, all from within the same simple and easy to use ClickFX user interface. And if we go back to this uh, workflow control action edit screen for just a second, note that you can assign any item to this workflow action. It doesn't just have to be a single button, it can be multiple buttons at a time. And the control aspect of it uh, allows you to control channels, it allows you to control individual boards that you may have defined on your DVI system. So truly it gives you a lot of fine grained control between stopping, starting, adding and removing uh, scenes and clips and audio fragments and I other elements that you may have loaded onto your system.